Let's try to understand the payable keyword in Solidity Smart Contract. So when you declare payable keyword in any function, you can easily able to receive Ether in the contract. Follow the general convention. And now we have to take this Pragma Solidity version. Let's create a contract. We'll call it payable. And say that we're going to declare a couple of comments. So payable address can receive Ether. That's true. We're going to define the address. We're going to make it payable so it can receive fund. And we're going to make it public so we can check what is the R address. So so here we have taken a variable which is address payable public and honor simple variables let's come here so when you declare payable in the constructor it can also receive ether and let's come here declare constructor will make it payable and here we're going to define the honor so honor and who is the honor message.sender the person who's deploying the contract so he can receive some ether so that's the simple constructor we have now we're going to create a function that to deposit ether into this contract let's create a function deposit it will be public payable because we want to pay and this function this function will going to create function we'll call it note payable public so if you try to send fund with this function it's going to throw an error because we haven't defined the public sorry payable keyword into this so these are the two function we have let's come here we're going to give this command and now we have to build the function for withdrawing the ether let's create a function we'll call it withdraw public and here we're going to say get the amount of ether store in this contract so we have to get it for getting that we have to take this unt amount and we have to say address this dot balance so this will give us the balance of the contract that what balance we have in the contract address this means the contract or you might have seen address zero that's also referred to the contract send all ether to honor so we'll call it honor can receive ether since the address of the honor is payable and that's what we have declared on the top so let's call bar bull success we have to take a boolean value and we have to say success and that we have to call honor.call value and we have to take the entire amount which the contract has and we're going to call this method send call sorry this will send the money back to the uh, honor address and here we're going to call this require so we have to check whether the transaction went successful or not so if boolean is false then it's mean that the current the transaction went fail and if it's true then it's passed so we'll fail to send ether and that's set let's come here let's create a function to transfer ether from this contract to address from input function transfer in that we're going to take this address payable and we're going to take this to amount that where we want to transfer so we have an address and we want to make that address as a payable so it can receive fund and we are defining the fund and we are making it public so anybody can call it functions simple function and let's do the same thing so the same thing we have to do we have to pass the amount which we are getting want to transfer then we have to do the check that that whether the transaction went successful or not and that's the only thing we have to know about this payable keyword in salty that how it's going to receive fund how it's going to send fund and how you can send the transaction the contract balance to your own so let's check this out let's test this out so this is the entire payable contract we have written in that we have all these functions and the honor so this is the honor this is the constructor this is the deposit function this is the not payable function this is the video function and this is the transfer function so what we can do is let's deploy the contract this is the only contract we have deployed and here we got the contract instance in that we have all these functions so the very first function we have this deploy and this function will allow us to add ether into this contract so right now you can see we have this four okay i don't know from where it came so let's try to deposit that maybe i have predefined the value here that's why it got added because we have made it made it made our constructor payable okay so it this four ether came at the time of deployment by mistake I have added the four and it's got deployed so we have that now let's deposit by this function so i don't want to add let's say five if i call this transfer the transfer went successful and here we have this nine if you call this payable function so right now we don't have anything let's call this one and if i call this call this not payable it will throw an error because we haven't assigned payable keyword to this function and that's why it cannot add fund into the contract so that's also look fine now let's check this function withdraw function so in the withdraw function we want to take the entire amount so right now we have this nine and i'm the owner of the contract so this address is the owner so right now we have 87 so if we call this withdraw function you can see the amount will become zero 
and zero and here you can see this amount got updated 96 so we can easily able to withdraw fund from this if you want to transfer you can do the same thing all you have to do is to provide the amount and the address and you can easily able to transfer so that's how the payable concept work you can easily able to add the fund at the time of constructor uh, sorry at the time of contract deployment which we have done you can check the owner you can do all the things that's a pretty simple things in the salty smart contract if you want to receive fund in the contract or you want to make it payable to any function so any you can transfer the fund to anyone else then you have to define the payable keyword and that's the only thing you have to keep in mind so with that i'm ending this video hope you have found this video valuable if you have still any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that with that let's move to the next video